Hey guys, Speedy Ronald, Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Latest data, latest trends. Not a lot of changes from this morning's update. Next storm system 117, 118 is still on track with a west-northwest flow. And that's going to uh, hit B.C., Washington, Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado with moderate to heavy snowfall accumulation. Then we shift into a Pacific pattern, 119 through 124, probably 125, and just warmer, higher snow levels, and a strong subtropical jet stream just opens the door and blows in warm air. I'll show you that pattern coming up in just a few minutes. Let me show you this. This is water vapor this afternoon. Now you can really see it's much more well-defined this afternoon. This area of low pressure right here spinning in to the Pacific Northwest BC, then it will follow this west-northwest orientation, this flow, down. And so we're going to get these, these waves of moderate to heavy snow that affect all of the interior Rockies on 117 to 118. In fact, may come in like two different pushes of moisture. Then behind it, this is just a big old gigantic trough back here. And this is all part of what's going to become the 119 through 125, 124, 125 big trough um, that moves into the west coast and begins to fire waves of precipitation into the interior. Much warmer, more ragged pattern. Um, here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. All right, here we go on one morning of 117. You've got uh, that shield of heavy snow moving into B.C. and Washington State, Idaho, Montana, probably brushing Banff into the Tetons, the Wasatch, and then eventually midday into the, into the afternoon hits Colorado. There's your snow. Here comes the main area of low coming up over the top, riding that north west northwest flow. This is 118, 6 in the morning. Still snowing Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado. Even in the afternoon, the snow hangs on over the Tetons and in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, but then it moves away. Then the pattern really begins to shift. That big old trough out there in the Pacific begins to move closer to the, uh, the Pacific coast. And again, by the time that precip reaches Tahoe, Shasta, Mammoth, we're talking 8,500 foot, maybe even 9,000 foot snow levels by the time that moisture moves in. There's a wave right there of snow hitting the uh, the Wasatch on 120. Some snow up in Utah as well. But notice it's not really associated with any closed strong storm systems or a, a particularly um, efficient flow. It's just pieces of moisture getting fired and thrown into the interior states. Here we are on 121. Same kind of thing. Just some moisture being thrown in on 121 in the, in, late in the day. It might be an area of low pressure kind of moving down through Arizona, New Mexico, and the four corners with the next storm system moving into California. And again, high snow levels even with that one in California. All right, looking at the jet stream. So this is 117, a little jet streak coming down with that west-northwest flow. That'll keep the snow going and a nice flow for the Tetons, parts of Idaho, um, parts of the Wasatch, and that will also hit uh, Colorado uh, with snow as well with that flow. Central and Northern Mountains. Here's 120, again, really into this Pacific flow. Look at that powerful subtropical jet. And that's just a conveyor belt for that Pacific warmth. Um, air masses take on the, um, the origins, where they come from. Um, and this one's coming from the Pacific, takes on the characteristics of the origin basin, and the Pacific is warmer. So that moisture will move in, and there is probably a storm system embedded within that. And you can really see it right here on the 25th. And like I said this morning, you know, this looks like a really impressive pattern, but it isn't. The cold air is locked up in Canada. It's not associated with this storm. The door is not open for cold air, but there is an area of low pressure. You can see the, the trough moving through Colorado and New Mexico. So there is going to be some precip on the interior. All right, new grand total map. Uh, hasn't changed a whole lot this afternoon. Still looking at about 30 inches up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Grand total, 116 to 125. And again, half of that comes on 117, 118. The other half comes after 119. In Colorado, uh, grand totals of, I don't know, 7 to 14 inches in most places. They'll probably do it. And again, half 117, 118, the other half comes after that. Pretty big totals up in the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Northwest Montana, BC. Anywhere in purple is over a foot. In California, again, you've got a couple of different waves of moisture coming in, especially after 119, those, um, those snow levels are high. Um, so here, let's zoom in to the uh, central to northern mountains of Colorado, I-70 and north. Um, Again, probably 7 to 14 inches from most places. That's a grand total, 116 through 125. More up around Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. Tends to get hit a little bit harder with these northwest flows. 
Um, here we go a little further west into the uh, the West Elks. Not a whole lot for Snowmass Aspen, Aspen Highlands. These west northwest flows just don't typically nail that area. A little more in Crested Butte though, and over Capitol Peak. Uh, let's break it down by period. So this is 116 through 118, the rest of today through 118. And there it is, the 117, 118 snow. Quite a bit for the Tetons and the Wasatch and in the central and northern mountains of Colorado and quite a bit up in the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Northwest Montana. Here's the second period, 119 through 125. And again, this is just distinctly different. Um, th there's really no cold air entrainment or, or involvement at all in this. It's, it's more of a Pacific origin uh, air mass um, with about a foot, maybe foot and a half down through um, Tahoe down to Mammoth, obviously more in Shasta, especially at higher elevations with colder temps. Uh, generally about a foot up there through Washington, maybe a couple of feet around Bachelor, and in Colorado, another two to eight inches of snow there through that uh, time period. Up into the northeast, I don't have anything big here. So they had some snow today. You've got some snow today up in the in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and and again, maybe some light snow after that. There might be an organized storm system very late in the period, 124 to 125, but that's just so far down the road. Confidence is low in that. Um, so we'll end on the on the grand total map. Rest of today through 125. We still got some good snow ahead. I like the 117, 118 storm system the best because it still has some cold air with it before we get into that Pacific pattern. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon. Mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.